Hey guys, so I know I didn't vlog Saturday or Sunday, or I didn't post anything. I didn't vlog at all, honestly. Saturday, my mom came home from the nursing home. She was released. She came home, happy, family here, all that stuff like that. And then yesterday morning, which was Sunday, um, well, actually, all throughout the night, um, uh, from, like, Saturday night into, like, Sunday, early Sunday morning, like, she was having sharp pains in her stomach, and, like, her stomach was, like, swelling up, like, really, really big, and... And, um, she, um, it was just a lot of pain. She was in a lot of pain. So, I, um, kept telling her, let's go to the hospital, let's go to the hospital. But she kind of pushed it off a little bit. But, um, around, I say, 9 o'clock Sunday morning, um, I called the ambulance and we took her to the hospital and everything like that. And it turned out she had, like, a ruptured bowel or something. And it was, uh, oh, what do you call it? A perforated bowel, bowel. I think that's the technical, technical term of it. And it was a hole in her um, colon or something like that. And so they had to do emergency surgery on her yesterday. And right now she's in ICU. And um, right now they have a tube, a breathing tube down her throat. And they have her on Profoval, if I'm not mistaken. That's like a sedation. And they also have her, um, she had to have her on pain medications and antibiotics and all this other stuff that I don't even know. But, um... She's in ICU. They're probably going to keep her like that for a couple of days. They want her body to rest and I just heal a little bit before they take her off of it. And so right now I'm at home. I came home last night because um, they had her sedated last night and basically she was asleep last night. And so I called back this morning and they said um, her vitals are good because when she first came out of surgery, her... um. <laughs> Her blood pressure was really low. It was like 55 over 50 something. And they said that was really, really low. But now it's at a stable point. Like it's high, way higher than what it was when she first came out. Um, she was having issues with her body temperature when she came out of surgery also. Oh, excuse me. But that is back to normal. <sighs> what else is going on? They said she did open her eyes this morning. But, uh, you know, they put her back on the sedation. They, just, they opened her. They I guess they took, they lowered the sedation just a little bit to see how she'll react. Or, but she did open her eyes, but then they put her back under. So, um, she's going to be like that for maybe another day or two. And then they're going to take her off. And at first I was really, really worried, but then I thought about it. My, um, my granny was in the same, well, not with the perforated valve, but she had, um, fluid in her lungs and stuff. And they had her sedated like that for about two to three days. And now my granny's at home. So, <laughs> I'm just, you know, they just doing it as a precaution, I guess, in a way. I'm not really sure. Are they... You know, you hear so many med medical terms. Honestly, for the past two years, I've heard so many medical terms. They kind of just fly over my head sometimes. And I go into deep thought. And I don't know. But I am going to keep vlogging. I know she's going to be okay. I, I just know she's going to be okay. I'm glad they caught it in time. Because they said um, if they didn't catch it in time, she could have possibly died. From, um, I guess, from her stool getting into her bloodstream and a whole bunch of other things. So, but they did say it was nothing cancerous going on in her bowel. It was just, um, they could happen. She said, like the lady said to me last night, like it happened to anybody. It could have happened to me, my eyes, anybody. It's all, I guess, if you're constipated. And like when you're constipated, your, um, your stool is like hard or whatever. And it is probably just pressed and punctured a hole or something. So, um, she's there. I'm home right now. I'll be going up there soon. Right now, I'm sitting here watching the, um, ACMs from last night. Just to keep your mind off of a lot of stuff. And wondering and letting the devil get in and giving me negative thoughts. I just have to stay positive and pray and stay calm because I know she's going to be okay. And I just wanted to update you guys. And this is probably my vlog for the day. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. I just want to thank you all for your love and support. If you're wondering who this guy is in my picture, this is my little brother. I was talking to him earlier about my mom's condition. She is still under sedation, but hopefully they'll be able to wean her off tomorrow. Um, it's just a wait and see kind of thing. I want to thank you all again. And I will be vlogging tomorrow, so I will see you guys later. Bye. God bless.